Hi everyone, it's hard for me to believe, but we are coming up on one year since I went down to Youngstown, Ohio to record my album Nowhere to Go, which of course came out earlier this year. As I've just been reminiscing uh, through that wonderful experience and kind of thinking through all the different things that took place that weekend, I thought maybe it would be fun to make a video to share with you a little bit about what that looks like and what a recording process looks like. What happens once you actually go to the studio and the producer hits record? So I hope that you find this video interesting and that you learn a little bit about the recording process. with my sister which is where um, my producer Todd is located with his studio and the first line of business is to do what's called a pre-production meeting because these were all songs I had written Todd had not heard them before he didn't know these songs and so in the weeks leading up to uh, the recording weekend I actually did some quick home recordings, just piano accompaniment, and then a quick vocal take to kind of give him the feel of the song. Todd and I sat down and we listened to all those home recordings, and I kind of drew out a diagram and we really just made a road map for each of the songs. We kind of broke it down from, you know, uh, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and kind of talked through how we wanted the song to build, where we wanted piano, where we wanted harp, how the song was going to move and develop as it went along. Oh, start off on you. Hello! Oh! <laughs> so the next step is recording, and when you're recording something with voice, typically you, rec uh, you record the accompaniment first or the music first. And we did all of the recording at a place, a beautiful venue called Stamba Auditorium in Youngstown. And this little clip will show you why. The acoustics in that space were just so incredible. We wanted to take advantage of that sound, and so we were recording piano, harp, and violin in this beautiful hall. When it comes to recording, there is a bit of pressure because you're typically working against the clock, and there's a lot of pressure to get it perfect. You're obviously recording it for it to last for all time um, and it's what people are going to listen to over and over again and so you want to get it right. I think we had Stamba rented for maybe three hours so we had to get all of the music um, recorded in that short amount of time and so it was really intense. We had to be really focused. Um, we did piano first and that can be a little bit of a challenge just because typically um, I sing along when I would play this on the piano. So hard not to sing, but also when you aren't actually singing out loud, you tend to rush, even if you're singing along in your head. Um, so that was a little bit of a challenge, just making sure that we got the piano real smooth, um, that it wasn't rushed. Um, and so that was the first line of business. Then we moved to the harp, same kind of thing. Although with the harp, I was able to layer it over what we had already recorded on the piano. So I was listening to our piano take in my headphones and Todd was getting the harp recording. After that, my sister came in to do um, her uh, bit on the violin for By Morning Light. And after all of that, we had to run through all the songs one more time um, for me to sing with to make sure that we got it all right because there wouldn't have been anything worse than getting back to the studio, realizing something was wrong with the accompaniment and we wouldn't have been able to get back into Stamba Auditorium. Let us be servants in extravagant ways that would seemingly wasteful might all come That 
was a pretty intense afternoon, uh, but we got it done. I felt really good about it, and it was a lot of fun. Once we were done at Stamba, we then went back to Todd's home studio where we were going to do all of the vocal takes. We went straight into studio and I started singing and I have to say this is where I get the most nervous. Um, I work really, really hard at uh, getting the voice right and vocal technique right. Um, and as a singer, you're always your own worst critic and can hear every little thing that you think isn't quite good enough. Um, and so that can be a real mental game. That was something I worked really closely with both a vocal coach, Mairead Carlin, and my voice teacher, Diane Penning. With Mairead, we really uh, worked on kind of the mental side of going into the recording studio and hearing yourself and really doing your best, but not overanalyzing yourself, which can be difficult. And then I really try and remember, because it's so hard, like there's a lot going on on the day whenever you're in there. And like, you know, it's just like that red light syndrome where like you see the red light on your eyes, now you're never. But that's actually an amazing thing. It's like, okay, I have this time now to get down, how amazing what you've written to get down that full sentiment. So just try and like, let let yourself go like, and just be in that moment. Yeah. Like that's something that I would really say to you, it's just like, forget about it. And then with Diane, I worked primarily on the vocal technique. It's an A flat. Okay. So it might want a little more width, but not really outer width so much. Um, it's just gonna go more toward ah. Okay. So you go from boo to ah. Okay. On the top, right? Okay. And you you can't you can't I don't want to say can't, but you, um, don't hesitate. Trust your breath and send it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? No yeah. fear. Okay. Okay. Just. Yeah. I think we got through most of the songs, but I wasn't feeling super great. Uh, there were a couple passages, particularly on "By Morning Light," I was really hung up on. I remember Todd just saying, "You know what, Shannon? Your voice sounds." really tired. You've had a really long day. It's been really intense. I think we just need to relax this evening and then come back to the studio and try to do a fresh take on this tomorrow morning. I was good with that, but it also made me nervous because we were leaving town that next day and it was important that we got it. Um, this was the opportunity um, to get the vocal recording and so in some ways it made me nervous because it put some pressure like we have to get it tomorrow morning in a set amount of time. Like I said, when you're in the studio, it seems like you're always working against the clock. And I think though that was the best decision we could have made uh, because when I went in Monday morning, I felt really good. My voice was really clear. I think we ended up redoing all of the songs vocally. Some of those passages that were tripping me up a little bit, uh, we actually changed and that was really Todd's call. He just said, you know, this isn't feeling right and it doesn't really seem to fit with the song. I think um, we need to change it melodically a little bit. Like I said, as a vocalist, you're always your own worst critic um, and kind of overanalyzing every little note. Um, and so that's when the producer can step in and just kind of say, I think this is good. We can leave it where it's at. These other areas we need to make some changes or improvements on. So once we got the vocal takes, that was a wrap. We listened through all of them to make sure I felt good about it before Todd went into a process called uh, mixing. And that is getting kind of the levels of the instruments and the voice just right uh, to make sure the balance is all set. I absolutely love studio recording because of the challenge. Um, like I said, it's difficult. Um, there's a lot of pressure. There's this intensity to get it right. Um, but I think that as a musician, as an artist, there's something so rewarding about going in. It's like nose to the grindstone. It's almost like you go underwater and then afterwards you come up and take a breath and you listen back and it just feels so good to have known um, that you created that from scratch. So that's a little bit about the recording process. I hope that you found it interesting um, and stay tuned. I hope to be putting out more music soon. As always, I appreciate your support. Thanks for listening.